Hi, all. It's Karen and... Not Pluto. <laughs> it's my other main man behind the camera, Bob. Uh, We're going to talk about the Halloween Kills <sighs> that recently uh, came out on October 15th. We both watched it on Peacock separately. So Bob kind of wanted to do this review. And as you guys already know from our discussion videos, he kind of hangs out behind the scenes. And Pluto was like, nah, I'm out on this one. So Yeah, I think he had a date. No, I thought he was collecting sticks with Boris. So anyways, um, Halloween Kills. It's the second new Halloween movie that's come out since 2018. Apparently, this is being made into a trilogy. There's going to be another one. Cool. That's going to be called Halloween End. You're I'm right. not 100% sure when not. that one's coming out or anything like that. But um, I'm going to try to keep it spoiler free because that's something we're going to try to do on the channel a little bit more. So basically, this picks up right where Halloween 2018 left off, um, where, you know, Michael, they thought they trapped Michael in the house. Turns out they didn't. He basically goes through Haddonfield and starts raising hell. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he starts killing. We have some characters from the original Halloween movie that return. We have um, Tommy Doyle, who's back. Um, oh, my God. I forgot the little girl's name. I am. I just got home from work. I am like. So yeah, dumb. yeah. Just, right, What's, Lindsay. What? Lindsay. Duh. Lawns in this, which they do a little cutaway with like a little flashback yeah, regarding weird, him, so, which is kind of weird. But I was kind of like, okay, this is kind of interesting. And then Marion, who was uh, Dr. Lewis's uh, nurse, is in this as well. Is that her name? Yeah, but I didn't know that was Dr. Loomis's nurse. I thought she was just a nurse, but okay. Well, she refers to her. Well, I think that's how Tommy refers to her in the bar that Marion, yeah, yeah. who worked with Dr. Remember. Loomis or whatever. I don't remember. So, I mean, it kind of, you know, there's a lot of good kills in this movie as far as I'm concerned. Um, they also kind of pick up a little bit from the bus wreck from the first one with a couple of the escape inmates. And, kind of, and kind of focus on one of those characters as well. Um, just as, I don't know if I would call it a side story, but um, just some of the things that happen. And what happens when people don't listen and just follow the masses and the M is silent and you have asses. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I mean, I like that part of it because I, I thought it was reflecting like a, in real life, a lot of things like in today's society. Because in real like life, that. people are stupid. But um, yeah, I mean, it was good. I enjoyed it. I, you know, I know with the new Halloween 2018, it kind of negated from two on. That's fine. Basically, I don't care. Basically, I mean, I I do like Halloween 2. I do like Halloween 3. Kind of kind of beyond that, you know, with the They're whole... They're all right. Um, I think we... Resurrection's the worst. Yeah. So, um, like I said, I was trying to keep this kind of spoiler-free. It's... I don't, what was it? An hour and 45 minutes, I believe. Well, something I didn't watch like credits, that. But I don't yeah, know, there was. Um, I did watch through the whole credits. There was. I didn't. Uh, the credits were about five minutes. There was yeah. no Easter eggs or anything in there. So I kind of. I did watch the whole way through. We did not see this in the theater. We watched it on Peacock, if I didn't mention that. So. <laughs> I ain't paying to go to the theater. Um, That's I know some people are pushing. Yeah, go to the theater. No. Support the theaters, but. I'm sorry if I can sit Piss in the, on the theater. Screw them. <laughs> if I can sit in the comfort of my own home and watch a movie, I'm going to do that now. And pause it to go to the bathroom exactly. and get something to eat. So, but um, like I said, Bob kind of wanted free. to join me on this because there was a couple of things he kind of wanted to talk about in watching after watching this and then watching some other person's reviews and kind of wanted to comment on three items. I, I, you just told me three. So, my right, what were they again? I forgot. I told you to remember. Character development. You were saying the character is being stupid. Okay, we'll start with that one. Uh, what horror movie doesn't have stupid characters? Sometimes you need stupid characters to move the plot along. I don't like annoying characters. I can tolerate ones that are dumb or do dumb things, because otherwise then you wouldn't have a movie. And it's no more stupider. Is that a word? <laughs> you, you know where I'm going with this. It's no more duh, stupider. Just making a joke there. No, what people do in real life. 
if you've been paying attention to anything that's been going on in the past two years or more, people do stupid shit because they're stupid. So, I mean, it's not different in real life, right? Is that what I want to say about stupid characters? I believe okay. so. What was the next one? About Lori not really being in the movie. Lori not in the movie. Okay, well, was she really in a lot of the original part, too? She wasn't in four, five, six. She just came back with the HDO and that resurrection crap. And the movie is not called Laurie Strode. It's called Halloween. People bitched about part three because Michael Myers wasn't in it. And now they're bitching about this one and Laurie isn't in it. Well, it's like you're whatever. You're stupid. It's, not, it's called Halloween. It's about Michael Myers. And I'm going to bring up a point about this. Nobody mentioned Halloween 3 whenever I was younger because I went to a shitty school. Nobody watched that stuff or nobody cared. The movie everybody bitched about was Predator 2. And I'll have a, I have a point I'm making. The movie's called Predator 2. I didn't see it at first when it came out. Everybody, oh, it sucks. It sucks. Why? Schwarzenegger's not in it. The movie is called Predator 2. It's not called Dutch. Okay? It's like, okay... Do you, I hope everybody follows what I'm saying. The movie ain't Dutch. Why don't they just make a movie called Predator, The Origin of Dutch? A three-hour movie about him. And with no predators. No violence. He grows up, he goes to school, and he goes to college. And then the end of the movie, he goes off and joins the military. The end. Well, you gotta figure that That sucked. That would they suck. They made the other Predator movies as well. Yeah, no, but I don't know what people say about that, you know. It's, a, it's not like it's the Terminator. Okay, I understand that, because that's the main character. Rambo. You need Rambo in it, because that's in the, in the movie. Indiana Jones. You can't make Indiana Jones unless you have Indiana Jones. This is called Halloween. It's originally about Michael Myers. You know, people bitched that Michael was in the third one, and now he's in this one, and he bitched about part three. So whatever. I don't care. I, I You know, again, it's fine you have an opinion, but that to me, that's dumb. Everybody's going to find something to complain about. What was the other one? Violence. The amount of Well, violence. it's too bad this wasn't PG-13 with no kills or kills that are cutaways. And then they show the body just laying there with no blood on him. If this movie is too violent for all you little babies out there, watch Black Christmas, the second remake. I think that'll satisfy your lack of violence or whatever. Or you, you'll like love that. Which one? There was like two of them, too. The Prom Night remake from... I thought there was two of them. No, I think there's only one. I don't know, but yeah. You, the one that whatever. was PG-13 that had like... Okay, what if this Halloween was PG-13? No blood and the kills were cut away and people bitch about that. If you don't want to watch the violent Halloween movie, watch the, the first one again. The first one's still the best. I don't want to see the first one again. You know, I'm glad it moves on and they do different stuff. They have different kills. Do something different. It's too violent. Halloween's not violent. Every Halloween is kind of violent except for the first one. Isn't that the whole idea when you have sequels to up the violence to try to make, you know, you're beeping, but hopefully we finish this up to make, you know, the movie more violent unless it gets cut. But now they, they can make unedited versions and release them like the Friday the 13th. All the best scenes were cut and lost and destroyed because people are idiots back then and cut out all the good stuff. I like slasher movies without my slashing in them. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like, I, guess, right, I what, guess I'm done. I guess what's coming down to. Bye. Is you know, somebody telling us, okay, this is what you can and cannot watch. Um, that's why Bob kind of wanted to join me on this review slash discussion. So like I said, check it out. Watch it for yourself. Let us know what you think down in the comments. That is it. I'll see you in future videos. Bluto will be joining me as well. We have some other reviews we're going to be doing. Excuse me. And I'm going to be getting a couple more Halloween videos posted. And I guess the big thing to say is we're back. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.